Yeah, Mark and Michelle, if there's a strike Thursday, parents are expected to send their kids to school like this one, Castle Heights Elementary. But parents tell me they want to show support for teachers, and that's left families with a big decision to make. Like many LAUSD families, Brian Schwartz has spent the week weighing whether to send his twin daughters, Brayden and Maitland, to school if there's a strike. I want them to learn this stuff. You know, they're learning math, they're learning English, they're, they're learning all these basic fundamental skills. And to think that they may not learn some of it or miss some of it because there's a strike is kind of disappointing. Schwartz was in junior high back in 1989 when UTLA went on strike for nine days. He remembers school being disorganized and doesn't think much learning will take place if his kids go to school Thursday, but he's going to send them. How do I? best support the teachers, right? Sending them to school, not sending them to school. What's the right thing to do? Like no one, you know, it's, it's hard to find out what the right thing to do is. It'll show the district that they need the teachers and having all the kids there, I think will overwhelm them and hopefully force them back to the bargaining table, give the teachers what they need. Teachers have asked for a salary increase as the cost of living in the district has increased 27% since 2008. The union wants a 6.5% retroactive raise going back a year. LAUSD has offered a 6% raise over the first two years. UTLA also wants reduced class size, more nurses, counselors, and librarians. Although LAUSD has addressed those requests, the district says they don't have enough money to meet all the demands. On Tuesday, the school School board passed an exemption that would allow volunteers to help its schools with fewer background check requirements, which would put more bodies on campus in the event of a strike. The people who may be called in at a time of crisis, and we know that times of crisis may be chaotic, and I think in those instances we want to be even more careful that the people who are at our schools are safe to be with our children. And both sides were in court today, but there was no ruling that would change that strike date. LAUSD and UTLA will meet again tomorrow one last time to try and reach an agreement. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.